that over a little bit transform good morning Lori let's see transform edit there we go there we go all right that's done all right so today I saw a uh, MLG up it's up uh, 56 percent and it's a crypto play as well. Uh, they have some new AI. We'll jump into the news, but it's the biggest one that I saw up this morning. Um, and it's a low float. So I want to see how that uh, how the calculations go on the open. Um, other than that, just kind of waiting in the waiting game here. So let's jump over to MLGO. The news for today. Um, and this came out today at 8.02 p.m. Or I guess it would be 7.02 p.m. by their, by my time. Uh, Micro Algo Inc. announced a deep clustering algorithm based on multi-level feature fusion. Let's click on that. Uh, so we see Micro Algo today announced blah, blah, blah. What we really want to look at is what uh, cryptos or what... Um, currencies that they're working with. Let's see. Deep clustering, deep clustering by extracting fusion, stabilizing algorithm. Okay. Whole lot of technical jargon. Deep learning feature. Then they got definitions in here. I think they were just trying to elongate this pack, this uh, article. Uh, let's see. Future. So no real money talk on this one. Let's go look at the float. A L G O or M L G O. All right, so statistics. Yo. No more. What's up? What's up? It's been going really, really good. Uh, we've been having a good little time over here, you know, um, poking around still, still in the small cap world, um, just sharpening our tools in the, in the small cap world. And it's been going pretty good. Um, just collecting data on this new strat. Well, I guess I, I'm calling it new, but it's really not new. People have seen it. Um, but I'm just trying it out and collecting data on it. It's been pretty successful so far. So, uh, just letting it roll. What was I looking for it over? Oh, the float float is 1.59 million. That's going to be attractive to some retail traders today. We'll see how that does out of the open. Uh, let's go to their actually pro their actual profile. And right now we're looking at micro algo Inc. So crypto type company another one of those chinese companies of course we've seen the chinese companies do crazy ups and crazy downs so i'd always advise to be careful when trading these micro algo inc develops and delivers central processing algorithm solutions to customers in internet advertisement gaming and intelligent chip industries in the people's republic of of china and internationally uh, the company operates through two segments, central processing algorithm services and intelligent chips and services. It offers services that includes algorithm op op optimization, uh, accelerating computing power without the need of hardware upgrades, data processing, and data and provision of software development. MicroAlgo Inc. is headquartered in Shenz Shenzhen, uh, the People's Republic of China, MicroAlgo Inc. is a subsidiary of Wimmy Hollow. Oh, we remember this name, Hollow, H-O-L-O. -O. 
hologram uh uh cloud ink mm, okay i remember i remember two stocks i remember one that was called wimmy and one that was called hollow h-o-l-o so that's interesting a combination of those names they're really spicing it up in that profile there let's go check the float over here as well uh, Donnell, good morning, good morning. Yeah, the scan's pretty slow, and then the top mover is pretty slow, that MLGO. But it it has those crazy uh, Chinese names in it, Hollow and Wimmy. Y'all remember Wimmy from uh, a while back? Wimmy, I think that was it, yeah. Wimmy, Hologram, Cloud, they all have the same name, and they do these crazy runs. So I'll be very careful on uh, M MLGO. It's got a couple of things. It's a Chinese stock. It's got names in it in this profile that went crazy in the past. And it does have a catalyst on the day. So we'll see if it's where people are looking at at the op at the on the open. MLGO. I think it's going to be interesting though mlgo shelf registration from december on it i don't know if it's already exercised that or not Short percent increase or decrease, it decreased by 82%. Well, that makes sense because it made such a jump up on Friday. When I saw it on Friday, I was like, oh, this thing isn't going to do anything. I mean, it was literally flatlining on Friday right here. Oh, also on this chart, um, I know you see these crazy arrows and stuff like that, but this is just the volume profile. Um, the gold arrows contain the top 70% of trading on the day. Um, and then you may see these lines out here, the green, the little pink, red, uh, and then a lighter green there. That's the ATR. So that's formulating the ATR high, the ATR low. And then for me, it works best to have a mid in there. So it's like a halfway point between the two. Uh, cause sometimes I've noticed that there's struggle getting to those, uh, the, all the way out to the true ATR. Uh, so that'll recalculate on the open. And basically, it's just simple math. You just take the open price, take the ATR, add it to the add it to the open price, and then subtract it from the open price. And those are your two levels. And they are very, very respected. So we've seen them a bunch of times. Get up there, and turn around, or go down and come back up. So super respected levels because they're so simple. Anyway, we got about 20 minutes until the bell. And we saw um, in, on Friday, this thing came into uh, aftermarket with a pretty big explosion and then into a dump. So it came 551 and held here and then exploded 550s all the way up to 766, came back down. And then a secondary test in this level of 7. What 760? So 760 seems to be a problem area for it. Um, and let's look on the higher time frames as well. So out here on the monthly chart, where is this? It looks like I looked at this before. I think I did, maybe on this day or something, because there's already levels out here. But 766 is the problem area. Looks like for it. Oh. right there okay so let's jump over here this is the weekly chart oh yeah i did look at this before because there's a there's a little level in there hmm i don't even know if i traded it probably didn't i could go check my journal but pretty sure i've uh if i did trade it, i probably lost a little bit on one of these falls 
But yeah, looks pretty regular across the board. Four hour just built up, but we'll see what kind of action it does. And I want to see if it can actually hold over five. Uh, it was kind of struggling a bit back towards five. So we'll see if the shorts get really active on it or it may just go sideways like it did on Friday with very little action. Let's jump out here to the. OK, so we got oil out here doing this little thing. As always. And this this ATR is basically just uh, catching. So this is on 15 minute. The ATR is uh, calculated on whatever time frame that it's on. So you can see this is an ATR dip down below the ATR low, which is this red line. A recovery and a test of that and then a move higher tested the ATR high got through the ATR high stayed in a channel within the ATR so it's a bunch of ways that you can kind of play that ATR all around there and it's constantly being reshaped because it calculates on every fifth every uh 14 candles so the higher the time frame the more powerful the ATR my daily chart ATR I mean this thing looks like this thing looks like a complete just bullets out here, green and green and red and red. But they all make sense, especially on gappers. They they look they're a lot clearer uh, on gappers. But since uh, oil hasn't been doing any gapping, and I don't think it's going to do any gapping. Uh, it's going to look like this, like a chop fist. Let's look at the spy as well up to five nights or <laughs> come down to five nineteen. It was up at five twenty four last week and is making its way back down so we'll see what happens on monday monday morning anyway if there is anything under five dollars under you know um that you're seeing let us know in the chat and we'll go and look at those before the market opens we have about a little bit over 15 minutes until the open and I'll just be looking through, looking through, um, where is Bam? Where is, uh, four in court. Man, he got, uh, he got hit a little bit, didn't he? Four in court is Moscow attack death toll nears 140. Let's see. Festival. Interesting. Uh, let's go to business. Boeing boss to leave as firm faces safety crisis. So is Boeing going to go through the ground? What was Boeing? I think it's BA. Let me see. Is it BA? Boeing, yep. 196. Okay, so this guy's leaving and it's showing a whole lot of bullish action from uh, 189 all the way back up here to 196 on Boeing. Interesting. Okay. Um, U.S. salaries are surging for fully in office jobs. Okay, so you can get paid more for going back to the office and letting somebody stand over you. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Dragon Ball theme park to be built in Saudi Arabia. Are Hong Kong's days as a global business hub over? Sick people leaving UK workforce at record highs. Okay. Interesting. The huge economic impact. Oh, and I forgot. This is a disclaimer. I always forget to put this up. Basically, any of the levels, any of the... Uh, any of the speculation that you hear here um, needs to be taken as a grain of salt inside of your own strategy, inside of your own planning. Uh, copying, copy trades and things can leave you in a very destitute situation where you are looking for your money back and the market will not just give it back. It's just gone. So definitely be careful in the markets and, uh, you know, be safe out here in these streets. No matter what kind of news or things like that, make sure it fits your strategy and it is tested. 
right? And if you don't have the data for the testing, size down and test it, right? Okay, Trump poised for billions as stock market deal passes. How many? We got a little bit of time before May 28th. May 28th, uh, got almost two months until May 28th, and then we'll be able to pr pretty much trade every day uh, in small accounts. So that'll be coming around the corner. I don't know why they pushed it out to May. I don't, I don't know if there's something else significant that is on the... Uh, that is going to make a lot of traders mad. They're like, oh, we're giving you this, but we're going to take this. You know, it's kind of like a give and take or a bait and switch. Energy prices could vary at different times of the day. Duh. Can my landlord put, put up my rent, keep my deposit or evict me? I don't know. All right, let's go to innovation. <clears throat> I, I saw a post that said Warren Buffett had sold his Apple, Apple stock. Of course, I've been seeing a lot of questionable news about Apple, but I don't know how legit they are. I really haven't. I'm not an Apple fan, so really haven't looked into it like that. I just I've, I've never just messed with Apple like that. I've always been with the droids, you know. Offline man says smartphone ban would be difficult. How our heartbeats keep us safe. Okay, well, that could be a sign of life. The man with the iron lung. Okay. Solar eclipse spectacle set to grip North America again. It's a lot of eclipse coming. Usually they take a couple years, but maybe time is passing faster than I'm thinking. Naples sit on a monster that could consume it. Beneath Italy's most densely populated cities, there is danger brewing. The legal status of psychedelics around the world. To be honest, so many people seem like they're already on psychedelics. It really, it's like, I don't know. Would it really make a difference? AI test spots, tiny cancers missed by doctors. All right. Let's jump back over here to the scans. I'm still seeing MGO. Um, holding here at the 640s. If it gets past this value level, it's definitely going to have to slow itself down around the six, but it is very close to a whole dollar level. So we know that whole and half dollar levels are sometimes respected, but this is small caps. So you have to kind of get some confirmation because if they go through a whole dollar level, it does not mean they're going to recover. Um, and that's one of the reasons we kind of focus on what the candlesticks are telling us in the specific pattern. Right now, this is kind of like a, a consolidation range here. It hasn't really chosen any momentum, right? And if it had momentum, it would have kept going higher on this one. Maybe it would have went all the way up to $10 or something like that. But right now, this is just a big consolidation between $760 and right around $6, I guess. Got about 10 minutes until the bell. Uh, Donnell called out Saito. Saito. We have... Some of these we've seen before. Some of the uh, some of the OGs around here acting up. Saito uh, right now is at two eighty five. Has a value level between two forty eight and whatever this is up here, like three thirteen. Let's see if they dropped any kind of cats catalyst. Uh, okay. You gonna pull something up? Uh, nope. Nothing. Okay. Am I tripping? Did I spell that wrong? Say toe. Okay, nothing there. Let's go over here and check then. All right, so Alt Altamira. Altamira. Uh, Therapeutics Limited. 
a clinical stage, clinical and commercial stage biopharmaceutical company engages in the development of therapeutics that address various unmet medical needs in Switzerland, the United States, uh, Europe, and Australia. The company develops ugly for only go for, oh my gosh, whatever. These two names, a platform uh, for delivery of oglio oligo nucleotides uh, such as small interfering ribonucleic acid or messenger rna into target cells its commercial products are bentrio a drug-free nasal spray for personal protection against air airborne viruses and allergens uh, the company is also developing am401 for the treatment of cross driven cancer so there's a little bit of cancer in there cancer is a word key word AM411 for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and AM125 that is in phase two clinical trial for treatment of vertigo. Uh, Key Zealand, which is a phase three cl clinical trial for the treatment of acute inner ear tinnitus and Sun Suvi, uh, that is a phase three of clinical development for the treatment of acute ear, inner ear hearing loss. The company was formerly known as RS Medical Holding Limited and changed its name to Altamira Mira Therapeutics in uh, July 2021. The company was founded in 20 or uh, 2003 and is headquartered in the in Bermuda, Hamilton, Bermuda. So, OK, so we got the Bermuda Triangle out here. We, we just got to be careful today. Let's let's see what happens, you know. Let's let's see what happens with this. And did they had let me see if they had any news on today. All right, thirty six mil thirty six minutes ago, announced collaboration with Uni Universe Sales Group. Universe Sales Group to test pro proprietary mRNA vaccine. Okay. So they got a little bit of a collaboration. They did have a little bit of cancer in there as well and mRNA. So this, that may draw people. I don't know. We'll see. I throw it up here on the watch. So we'll be watching MLGO and Saito out of the open. Good morning, Mike D. Saito. Okay. So low of the value level down here at the 250s. We'll see what happens. Let's actually look at the higher time frames as well. So looking out here on the monthly, we can see that it's been getting beat down, beat down, beat down. And I forgot to even check the float. I'll go back and do that. Um, but closed on Friday at 173, and now it's trading around 290. So right at right above the top of this, really. Grab this like 290s right under that three dollar level okay and so it has a couple a uh, couple of levels up here that it could go to 335 it's also got another one here at 350 so a couple of levels there to play with as well look at the weekly so we see on the weekly Pretty much the same thing up here. Different levels that it could hit above the three. And maybe it's, it gets strong in a lot of action, but we'll see how that catalyst plays for it. Four hour chart looking looking big and green coming up to these levels, but showing a little bit of a lower high there. So it, it would need to rip that, that high right there, 305, right above the threes. So we'll be watching. Four, four minutes left to the bell. Let's take a quick peek back over here to MLGO. And I don't know which one's gonna be the one that gets the most attention, but uh, Saito definitely being up 68% uh, may attract more traders over here. So, and it's looking like it's 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 looking more bullish than uh, MLGO as well. So we just go based on looks. Uh, Saito is gonna win out.
Two minutes left and MLGO just closing down this range. So much coming into open. I wouldn't even trust it. Saito is probably going to be the top top watcher. And it's going towards $3. So that $3 break. And it's got the potential to try to get up there to maybe 330s. But I don't know. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. So if you have a strategy to be quick, especially trading within the first uh, couple of minutes. Because in the first couple of minutes, patterns really don't work. It's more like people's feelings and emotions rushing into the market especially on a monday morning after a uh after a weekend people coming in with those heavy trigger fingers they got new strategies strategies to try out and things like that so you got to make sure that your strategy can get you in and out during an emotional situation in the market but right now we're bubbling under that three dollars <throat> This thing started to move at 7.45. I guess it would be 8.45 for most of you guys, but it's because, up oh, there it is. Breaking through the threes right there a little bit. Bubbling, yep. Right up to the top of this value level up here, the 313s, which we had already looked at, and pushing through it. Hitting up there towards those 315s. So, yeah, this is probably going to be the watcher on the day. <clears throat> Up 83% as MLGO goes further and further down. So let's see how it holds three up. We got 50 seconds left until this open. point of control is down here at the 275 right now so if it does get through three it could head back down here to the two or get back down under three it could head to the 275 before it tries to go back higher but we'll see those are just observations of what's on the chart based on the volume profile and where the top 70 percent of trades have been taken here on this morning so we'll see or it may actually just shift the volume profile up on the open if like a million shares come in here on the first candle. All right, there's the open. The ATR just got calculated. ATR high is up here at the 334s. ATR low is right here at the $3. Let me zoom this in. I can barely see it. Oh my gosh. All right. ATR high up here, 33 and low right here. So it lit, the ATR really lined up with those levels that we were counting uh, earlier. If it breaks the ATR high, it just drug the uh, value, volume level, volume profile up a little bit with the trading that's coming in right here. We'll see if it can hold over the three. Got down there and threw a wick down there on this first little candle, though. All right, can it get back to through this uh, mid high at the 325s? Start to head up there and try to get into those 330s. Okay, got the 325s and ATR high is 330s. Moving up that volume, uh, that volume profile. We see the gold. The gold is the value level. The gray is just the high of the day. Pop the ATR high there, and we should see some respect and a little bit of come down off of this ATR high up here at uh, 335s real quick. So it should give us a little drop off this ATR. There's a drop down off the ATR. And now it has to actually hold that ATR up as this candle continues to play out. Woo! Wow, that ATR is effective. Mm-mm-mm. So now we're at a mid range between the ATR high and low, and it's got to make a decision which whether it wants to go to the three or back up to the three thirties. At this point, it's looking strong going towards those threes. Let me see if anything else popped up here on the scans. MLGO, yeah, MLGO is just kind of going down right now, forty nine percent.
So whenever it starts playing towards like the middle of the ATR, sometimes it's hard for me to make a decision which way it wants to go because it's just even even now it's just throwing throwing uh continue to play within the bodies of these long wicks that it's already thrown. So it's just a kind of hard guesstimation here, especially with no pattern. Okay. And it's not dropping or going up. So indecision. If we look on the sell buyer indicator, we can see that the sellers are, it's pretty much like 50-50. It keeps changing, but continues to be around 50-50 on this candle. All right, MLGO down to a whole dollar level. Um, came all the way down to this ATR low here, right there at the six six dollars. Again, a little pop off of that, uh, but we'll have to see. It's at fifty percent. It continues to head down, so we'll see how these close their first fifteen minutes. Remember, this is Monday morning, so a lot of you know a lot of times on Monday morning, people are like, oh man, they're stop hunting. They're hunting for these stops. That could be the case, but it's a lot of people coming in on Monday morning, like I said, with new strategies, trying things out, and they keep their stops very tight. So, you know, they're getting stopped out, and then people that are shorting for the first time are getting having to cover and all of that stuff. So that's kind of what creates these candles like this. Fear. So now the value level just closed in a little bit. It's getting tighter because it's only staying in this range. It's not breaking out. Going up there back towards the ATR high. It needs to get over this 335 to show that it's bullish though. Or under the three to show that it's bearish. Tapping the ATR high again. Big sellers on the ATR again. Mm-mm-mm. All right, might knock it. Nope, nope, another failure. So there's two. When when I was doing my back testing, I was I did two strategies on this. Either it was the ATR break, which is super risky because you haven't it hasn't proven that it can stay above the ATR. It comes up here and you're getting in basically for the ATR break. And right now it's failed multiple times on this breakout. The other one that I do is the ATR break and hold. So break out of this, pull back and hold the ATR. Prove that you can hold the ATR for a higher move. Now it's breaking out of the ATR here, but it's got to hold out of that uh, towards the, yep, now it's breaking. Okay. Threw a wick way up there towards that next level of the 350, and it's trying to hold up this ATR high at the 335s. Got about 10 minutes left on this 15 minute candle. Wow, MLGR just MLGO just going down, down, down below the ATR low there. Not really competing anymore on the day. When it comes to relative volume and relative uh, standard deviation, Saito is definitely the standout on the day. Look on the scans, relative volume 118 times the norm, relative standard deviation, seven deviations out from the norm, very abnormal stock and abnormal stock movement. MLGO, uh, look at this relative volume, just sickening. It's not even abnormal. MLGO, I wouldn't even touch it. I wouldn't even touch it. It's not abnormal. And then the relative standard deviation isn't even one deviation out from its norm. So wouldn't touch it. Saito is the, the one the one now this is only if you have a strategy for this though so going up and trying to get to that 350 it is looking like it is going to be a grinder though uh, with the way that it's moving it's not just being super powerful out but it's not super weak either if we look at the buy sell indicator we got what uh, almost 80% buyers, but they end up kind of 
chopping around before they make the next move. So I just be careful and uh, watch for this thing to drop back below the, well, I was about to say the 330s, but it's dropping back into the ATR again, showing a little bit more indecision. I don't like that. So got up there and tried to hold. And remember, I usually make, wait for my 15 minute candles to hold, I'm not hold, to close for a decision making um, kind of thing, right? So we don't, as long as the candle is moving, it can continually, continuously lie to us, right? As long as it's got time on the clock. And it's kind of come back down here and we'll see, um, has a couple of minutes, but still hasn't closed yet. Still holding a little bit green, but a lot of indecision on this one. Is it going to test back that ATR low, which is current currently at the 298, right under the three? And then the point of control is also at the bottom. So somebody is sitting here with some shares right in this point of control, trying to see if it's going to blast through it or it's going to hold this ATR low. But I think we definitely have our eyes on the right one on today. And it doesn't even matter if it's in my price range or in it's in my variables or whatever. I just want to be looking at the right stock on the day, no matter what. Where is that attention? Now, usually, if see on a regular day on my scanner, my uh, below five dollar scanner. It would not have popped on there unless it broke over 100%. So I probably wouldn't have seen it if Donnell didn't call it out on a regular day, like on, on a day that I'm not streaming. I just would have been like, oh, well, MLGO is dead, so I'm just going to walk away. That's it. Uh, Otto Richard, I have unlimited internet data. What? Do not call that number, bro. Why? Why, Otto Richard? We're talking about trading and you're trying to sell internet, my guy? Internet data, my guy? Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's let's not do that. Let's not do that. Don't sell internet on my channel, bro. Especially some kind of jank internet that's going to end up, you know, not being the most secure. All right, Saito has eyes on the three dollars now. All right, so going down and testing that ATR low, hard, and heavy does not mean it's going to fall through because we've seen it trick people. We've seen it trick people, so it may pop back up above this uh, 307. So let's see. 88% on the sale indicator, so we'll see if it tricks people and pops back up to this 307. Or is it for real going down to the bottom of this value level, which is at the um, 290s? At this point, what is the probability that it reaches back up to 350? Very low probability on these next couple of candles. So uh, I would definitely say uh, since it's going, if it holds below the ATR low, you'll be looking for bullish moves on bearish momentum. And sometimes I hate to trade that way because it's a desperation play, right? You're, you're, try, you're hoping that some kind of reversal will happen during, a, during the bearish momentum. So you can take quick profit and be out. But it's all a hope and a dream. All right. Uh, eight, uh, MLGO still below the ATR low there at the uh, 586. 
And if we look out here on the higher time frames, this is what my ATR looks like on the higher time frames. It's completely broken under this ATR low and heading towards the ATR high of the previous day, which is 514 right there. So, and you can see it on the four hour too, headed back to that ATR down there. All right, Saito popping back up to the ATR low. Can it retest that? Can it get back over $3 is the question. Three has a little bit of a couple of traders trying to keep it under three. But it continues to pop back towards that three. This candle will close in two minutes. So if it closes above three, you may see a little bit of bullish action back towards this 307, which would be a seven cent winner if you're playing it like that. Um, but we'll see how this candle closes. If it closes under the ATR, I'm thinking it's, it's just going to be bearish moves from here on out. Two ninety three. Wow, MLGO continue to drop. Almost up just thirty percent now. Mm. That's not good. Headed back towards that five dollars. Come on, Saito, get back over three. You know you want to. Coming back up to that three. We have. Uh, less than a minute left for this 15 minute candle to close. And, you know, I kind of wait the first 30 minutes to kind of avoid all of the torture, the mental torture of this, because I kind of like to have patterns work for me. Oh, boy, going trying to get below that 290. It does not need to get below 290 here. Just hold. It needs to stay above 297. Yep, it's under the 290. So this is going to be bearish movements. I don't like it. Then popping right under the 297 there. The 297 is the ATR low. So there's the open of the new, new candle. And now I'm thinking it's just going to be bearish moves. Even if it does shoot up right now, I wouldn't trust it to go back bullish. MLGO opening low to the low of the value area and looking like it wants to test the 525s here uh, as a continuation downward. And it is what? Uh, 530 all the way back up here would be 590 to the ATR. Yeah, but it's going to have to slow down this momentum. This candle is huge from uh, 647 all the way down here to 536. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's too big to be overcome. And then Gofin Candle at this point it would be super bullish if it could get back over uh, 650s. But that is very unlikely. So popping back up there, testing this ATR low. We, if this ATR low becomes resistance, it's, it's over. It's going to probably get pounded into the ground. Control area. So the point of control is even under the ATR, which is not good. It needs to be lifted back up here into the ATR, but I don't know if it can do it if this stock is strong enough to do that. And finding that resistance right there on that ATR low there. Yeah. So. And this one continuing to plow down as well. 26, 526 there. Completely below the value le level. Let's see if it'll break down 520s. 525. There's the 20. Yep, breaking down those 520s right there. Hmm. Not looking the best. All right, back over to Saito. Remember these moves, when we're under the ATR low, I'm just thinking bullish, bullish potential on a bearish momentum. You know, you got to know that you're fighting the trend at this point. Above the ATR, I'm all for it. I'm like, "All right, this is I'm looking for bearish uh, bearish patterns on bullish momentum. Looking for those bears to push it down, get in, take the ride. 
I don't actually have the AT, I mean, not the ATR, I don't have the VWAP or any of that on here. Uh, so I don't know if it's reacting to the VWAP or whatnot. All I know is under and over in the rules that I've seen based on back testing. And continue to push down here. MLGO only up 29%, so it's lost pretty much everything on the day. And continuing to push down, just hit 513s down there. Mm. Not looking too beautiful. So below five, that thing's dead to me. All right, so this is a previous area that we saw a little bit of buying down here from the 275s, 250s. Could get a little bit of buying in this area right here between, let me put this, where's my box? This little area right here is visible buying pressure right here. So we wanna see what it does on this level and can it slow down? Now this is the end of the 30, or this is the last candle that I would need for uh, the 30 minute. I'd be looking for this thing to close in this level and possibly test back to the point of control up here to the 280. So maybe a, a 20 cent gain or something from 260 up to 280 possible. But that's a, that's, you know, it's got to hold this level. My, my stop would definitely be 250 right here at the bottom of this. So if I get in at 260, I'm risking 10 cents there uh, for that for that move back up to the 80s. But this candle has to close first. Oh my gosh, MLGO absolutely dying up 20 something percent. Gave back everything, has broken the five, and you already know below the five is dead. Duh. Dead in the water. Yep, absolute done. I just, I kind of figured, I mean, I looked at crypto today. Uh, Bitcoin is definitely up, but I was like, they kind of threw Bitcoin in there. Kind, But people use Bitcoin so broadly. That's the only problem. Like Bitcoin is kind of like the the grand grandfather of all crypto. So when I see big, 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 oh my gosh, I just stuttered. When I see Bitcoin in uh, some kind of article, I'm like, do they really mean Bitcoin or are they talking about some other cryptocurrencies? Sound like a broken record there for a minute. Mind glitch. All right, so we're seeing this thing come down into this uh, clouded area. Now, this does not mean it's going to stop here and go back all the way up here. At this point, I'll be focusing on range bound plays. So looking for previous visible support to hold a good risk to the reward uh, level like this bottom here, 250 is a hold point and then a reversal, possibly like back up here to this value level, maybe 280s for that 20 cent win. But right now it's trading at the 280s and it's about to close this candle. So if it closes this candle around the 280s, I don't trust it. it might continue down. But if it can dump down in here and pop back up, that's that would be more uh, what I'll be looking for. I'm going to go ahead and take MLG out, GO off. I'm not, I'm not into that. Saito is pretty much the only thing. Spy got back over the 520s, so up a dollar. Uh, NQs uh, did a engulfing. Oh, now, this right here is what we call a tweezer. So basically, the two candles have a similar bottom, and then this green candle engulfs. So, so I guess you could call it a type of engulfing candle, but it's it's a bullish tweezer taking out that the whole candle that it uh, recently made. That doesn't mean that it's going to hold up here because it hasn't closed yet, but if it closes up here, this definitely looks bullish on the NQ. We'll see. 
back over here to Saito. Just holding, not wanting to break down into this level just yet. Let's see what that message was. This week's going to be super busy. Whoa. Should be working. Email. I know that. Okay. All right. So let me see about this. Uh, but as of now, um, for Monday morning, I really would like to see something that is strong over five that can actually pay us some money. Okay. So we're getting the test down here to the cloud. Coming down to this uh, 260 level, but we got to see how this candle closes in this cloud here. Has a bottom of the 250s. Okay. How strong is it going to be towards the 250 is the question, which is a 19 cent file from where it is now. Just about. Wow, pulled all the way up there. So trying to close around 280, I don't trust it. I want to see a dump. Okay, so holding up this value level, but really, really close. Not a lot of buyers on that. You know, I don't trust it. MLGO came back over five for a couple of seconds. But I think it's playing too much around that five. This one has six minutes left to this open here or to the close on this 15 minute candle. It's telling us there is some buying pressure here, but there's still something holding it down. I just want to see the completion. Is it going to push all the way back down to this cloudy area at the end of the uh, candle? As long as the candle is moving, it can be lying to us and easily drop back down. So finding a clear struggle point right at the trying to enter the previous price action of the previous candle over the 286 and not being able to do it. Two eighties. No, I'm gonna have to call that back. I'm gonna have to call that one back. Let's see. Okay. All right. Four minutes left. I'm probably gonna um uh, we got four minutes out of stream a little bit longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to some work. This week's gonna be pretty busy for me. Um so I any other trades that I want to take this week, I wanna definitely make sure that they are uh there's not something that I just have to stand around and manage. Most of my trades, once I'm in them. You know, I can kind of take my eyes off of them a little bit, just leave my, my stop out there and, you know, just let it play out. Because a lot of times when I'm just watching, I'm like, man, I could be doing something else. So I just get in and I come back and they're green. So I'm like, oh, okay. But this one right here, I would not trust to do that on Saito. I would not take a trade here and just, you know, 
go and uh, get some banana pudding or something. Nah, we're we, we're not doing that. Uh, it's holding around this 280, still looking very bearish. Uh, this candlestick, I just it, it's just not a clear pattern here. I don't know what it's trying to do, but I think if it closes under 280, that's going to be a problem. And it's only six cents away from 280, and the range is getting smaller and smaller and smaller so the people that are trying to hold this if it does slam down it's going to put them in a very bad awkward position um going back down here towards this cloudy area so a break of 80 is probably going to send it on down probably a lot of stops right there MLGO not just really not holding that five dollars up. Continues to try to get to the body of the previous candle at the two nineties. Still two minutes left on this this uh pattern. So how much movement can it do in thirty seconds that it hasn't done in the rest of the day, right? Going up there to the ATR low, finding a little bit of pressure at the 296. Pressure, pressure. Will it find so many shorts that it gets pushed down here, though? Got about two seconds. A minute left, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut off and go and do some other work. But uh, yeah. Appreciate you guys for tuning in anyway. Uh, if you're going to continue trading, definitely be careful. Uh, the market is, you know, trying to figure out what it wants to do for the week. We're coming in. And this is the last week of the month. So definitely don't want to ruin your month on the last week. Right. Um, so I would just say, look for those quality plays. Keep your head on a swivel and. Um, don't don't over risk because you're trying to make up for something that happened in the month or whatnot. There will always be more days, more weeks and all that stuff. So, you know, overextending yourself at the end of the month is just a desperation play, which can get you hurt. I'd rather just take the same, you know, same setup. But this candle is coming into a close at that ATR low. Was not able to close over it. And yeah, so this little candle, what is this called? Is this a, um, looks like a rickshaw, man. It is a reversal signal, but it's under the ATR low. So I don't, I don't think it's going to be reversed anytime soon. It's going to definitely have to make a, make a decision to hold up this 250. See if it can break down the body of this rickshaw man. That'll be bearish, uh, the 289. So nine cents away from the 280s. Can it break all that down? There's 288s. All right, it's nine o'clock. I gotta get out of here. Let me go make some money. Uh, but it's breaking down 288s. Whatever. Um, Y'all have a great one. Uh, definitely be careful if, if you have any profits definitely don't risk everything a lot of times I come into the day I, I pretty much take the most size I'm gonna take on my first trade because usually that's the greenest one that I take then any other trades I just size down throughout the day some people size up I size down just to reduce because I know that I have thinking fatigue and all that stuff I'm like ah I size down there'll be something better but anyway that is it for me today and as always I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.